So for you new resellers out there, it's never a good idea to direct people to an email or a phone number or a different website or any of that stuff. Welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. My name is Kevin and we are in the Commonwealth cabin as we typically are this time of day. Actually, I'm here a little earlier than I did. You might even see a little sun peeking through. Usually it's the evening, but I have plans this evening to do a couple things. So I had to get home from school pretty early and get some stuff done. But I had a topic that I've been meaning to talk about for a while and somebody did something yesterday that reminded me of it on the messaging system on eBay. Now this is mostly directed to you new eBay resellers, most of you old pros out there, which is the great majority of you who are watching this, you already know this. So when I talk about that in a few minutes, you can turn me out. But in the meantime, let's take a look at what sold. This one actually sold yesterday and I forgot to ship it off. So I'm like, well, I guess I gotta do it today or it'll be past the deadline. I grabbed this, I grabbed, I've grabbed, if you've been watching the Commonwealth Picker channel for a while, I've probably glad, grabbed maybe 10 of these since I've started that channel. I love to find them with the lid on them because they can go upwards of $20 plus shipping on it. This one sold for $10.95 plus shipping on it. We got it from Rich, the storage guy, and I grabbed it. And I'm like, hey, you know, these things sell. If It's just a matter of is it worth your time. So for me, this is really easy, hard to damage the thing. If you get the right size box, it's going to go out first class. $10.95 plus shipping. If you ever find these Tupperware ones, they're worth picking up, especially if they have the lid and they're really cheap. So in this case, they're really cheap because it was part of our bundle deal over there. <laughs> I see Turner out there. One of the reasons I, it, you don't really need a window, right? Matter of fact, it's a pain in the butt to have the window at this time of day because it casts shadows in here. But one thing I really like is I can see my kids when they're outside playing. It's a cold winter day, but Turner's still out there in his shorts. He just does not want to wear pants. I don't know what the deal is. He does wear those long socks though. Here is something I haven't sold in a while, and it, this is the last one of these. This is a $2 buy at Walmart, this Liberty University shirt, and it sold for 15 bucks free shipping. So it's a decent little profit. We've made a bunch of money on them. This particular one is now gone. I still have a bunch of different types back there, but I'd say we've sold half of those shirts that we bought, and I just filled my car up with shirts. By the way, whenever I sell those, I think of my Uncle Dave. So Uncle Dave, if you're out there listening, thank you. I was talking, I got so many uncles, you know, all these different uncles, but thank you, Uncle Dave. He's the one that gave me the tip that those were in there and on clearance, and he knows I sell that stuff every once in a while. I was like, hey, two bucks a shirt, and I'm like, okay, and I went down there and I just bought them all. All right, two charts right here, two of them to the same person, and they're going to Louisiana, which doesn't surprise me. When you see the next one, you'll know. I think of Lonnie whenever, <laughs> whenever I uh, sell these things. So you'll see it in a minute, but this is wheat rust right here. I like this one. It's pretty nice. It's simple, but it's nice and crisp and it's in great shape. This one, I can't remember exactly what it sold for, but I've got the combo number. Let me show you the other one. All right, here it is. This is the one that reminds me of Lonnie. Down there in Louisiana, and my grandmother was from Louisiana. She's long since passed, but that's definitely a part of our history we enjoy. I've been down there a couple times. It is uh, amazing and some good folks down there. So leave a comment if you're from Louisiana down there and where you're from. Hey, crayfish, isn't that thing cool? That is awesome. And so combined, these two went to the same person. They asked me for a deal on one of them and then bought two, which is amazing. So these went out for $162, $166, dollars $162 plus shipping on these two. So I love that sale and they're both going to the same place. All right, I got a message and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the name out here. It's just a first name, so it won't matter, but you'll know who you are and you are gracious and in the message that you sent back to me, and it was Renee. And Renee sent me a message on the eBay messaging system. So for you new resellers out there, it's never a good idea to direct people to an email or a phone number or a different website or any of that stuff on eBay. Matter of fact, I wanna even talk about videos in a second, which also reminds me of Lonnie, and we'll talk about that in a second when I pick up the camera. But if you're a new reseller out there, you gotta be careful what you put in the messaging system. So. If you're trying to contact me, ask me a question or ask me where to buy something or what store or something was on, I have to be careful in the way I answer. I think I heard John talking about this on uh, their podcast not too long ago, or maybe it was in an interview. I can't remember where I heard it. But it's difficult sometimes for me to respond 
politely or appropriately to a message on eBay. So this particular message was, you know, hey, where do I find the Inamug? Because I don't sell the Inamug on eBay. I sell the Inamug on CommonwealthPicker.com. And so I'm like, you know, I'd love to answer this, but I can't type in go to CommonwealthPicker.com and I'll, I'll, I'll let you buy it from me there. I can't do that. So typically, if you want me to respond, the best way to do that is to go through, well, the best way, to be honest, unless it's private, I almost always look at every single message in the videos, in the comments of the videos, just because that's just, I get a habit of doing that because I want people to comment. <laughs> I want people to give thumbs up and all that stuff. So I want to respond to you there. And I'll do it on there for sure after the video. Usually in the first couple hours after the video, I'll definitely respond. And I read almost every single one, even if I don't type a response. But it's hard to respond through the eBay messaging system for that reason. And it takes up a little bit of time as well. It's a, certainly a little bit harder to click on it and wait and do all that as opposed to the messaging system. Emails get buried a lot of times, as do Instagrams, although I'm a little bit better with Instagram. So at any rate, I just wanted to mention that for you new resellers out there. Be careful what you write in those, you know, eBay's going to pick up stuff. So be careful what you write in the messaging system because I have got in trouble before. Usually they'll send you a warning or they'll ask you a question. But you need to be careful. I've heard, I remember hearing from Pete Craigslist Hunter, one particular thing that they put into a message and they shut his store down. I think it was for a week, maybe it was three days. So you got to be careful with that kind of stuff. So thank you, Renee, for reminding me to talk about it right here. Before I show you what else sold, I wanted to mention something that I talked about briefly the other day. And I've finally done it and a couple of people have been asking me about it. It's a particular listing that I said I was going to do a video of and post a video in the eBay listing. And a couple of folks asked me how I was gonna do that. And instead of me making a video about it, Lonnie from Garage Flips has already made one. So first let me show you that and then let me show you his video. So when you have something that you couldn't possibly take good enough pictures in the 12 pictures that they give you, I have tons, there's 277 cards here. It was just much easier to make a video. Now they're not in amazing shape, but there's a few good ones in here. And we're just going to have some fun and do an auction because I think there's some value in some of these cards, even though I've had a few offers that I might regret not taking at this point, but that's okay. It'll be all right. So I did a video for this one. I have not listed this one yet. And I put it over there on the Homeschool Hustler store, really because I forgot where I was at when I listed it and I didn't want to change it at that point. So flippertools.com is where I go to do that. But it was a video years ago that I watched that Lonnie did, which is the first time I did a listing like that. So I figured I'd point that out to you real quick. So if you are new to eBay and you want to do a video on that type of item, Lonnie did. I think Lonnie's video, I think is attached to flippertools.com if I recall. At any rate, this is a good video. It's a couple years old, but it is still relevant. And years before that, they had a different way of doing it. And I remember doing that, but anyway you can go over there and check that video out how to do a youtube how to attach a youtube video it's a, how to add a youtube video to ebay listings 2018 so there you go you can go check that out if you want to know how to do that i always wonder you know because i do this and i know a lot of you are resellers and i don't want to say stuff that i know so many of you know but then if i don't i'm going to get people asking me so Thanks for uh, bearing with us with things that you already know. And for those of you who don't know it, now you've learned something or you will learn something. Here we go, here is the stick. This went to a viewer, I can't remember the name. I'm gonna go check it really quick. I don't think I saw a message. Actually, I might have, let me go look. But here is the traveling stick, the walking stick, the travel stick, whatever you wanna call it. It's got some vintage tags on there and uh, from Germany. I think it's pretty cool, I like it a lot. And this is headed out in the direction of, had to come over here and look, Mike and Molly. <laughs> Mike and Molly. That's a great name right there. They say it's going to be a great display piece. And I agree. I think it's awesome looking. I thought about keeping it for myself, but I'm like, you know what? It's, you know, where am I going to put it? I thought about maybe even finding a spot in here and hanging it up, but I decided it was going to find a new home. $46 plus shipping. Thank you all and thank you for the kind words and thank you for watching both of our channels. We do appreciate it. And I have already sent the money, about 20 bucks, because this is a consignment, 50-50, about 20 bucks to, or not even about, I think it was exactly 20 bucks. I sent it over to Rich, the storage guy. So thank you for all of the sales that you did with us, but thank you for the consignment and the Yu-Gi-Oh are going to be consigned too. So at any rate, thank you and thank you to Mike and Molly. You can see... 
what I have to do when that sun beats in on this video because you'd be seeing shadows everywhere. Sold something else from a lost and found sale. And this one should be part-time pickers, I think. Yep, part-time pickers. The other set of Oakley glasses, $30 plus shipping on these. And that is going to add to our total $25 more profit, $366. So far, still have this sweatshirt right here up for sale. And just for full disclosure here, there's a little fading in certain spots in the back, just FYI. So make sure you check out that picture. I think that Supreme sweatshirt, it's already up to $44 bucks and there's like four days left on it or something like that. Next one is, if I can find it, I think this one's been around a while, so 38 Special is probably going to be in the back here of these records. Let's see. Tour de Force. And there's 38 Special. Now I don't remember which one it is, because there were two of them. I think it's this one. $8.95 plus shipping. Poor condition, but still, it's a sale, right? And it's uh, part of a huge lot that we bought that we haven't even barely started going through so far. Ha! It's a lot poorer condition than I thought because it's actually three different records that I sold for that. So there's three of them, and they're all going out as one giant lot. So I'm a little surprised I did that, to be honest with you. That looks more like a sell them for two, three, four dollars a piece in my antique booth than it does something that I would take the time to do on eBay. But you know what? That's okay. I'm probably into these for maybe a dime a piece. I bought so many, eh, maybe a little bit more than that, 20, 25 cents a piece. So whatever, we'll take the money on it and we'll ship them out. And somebody asked me, and I've said it many, many times, but there are affiliate links to these boxes right here for sure. And I think one of them is overpriced. Maybe the eBay one, I think I didn't, or maybe it was the Amazon one. At any rate, I am going to try to fix that one to make sure I put the one that was the deal I was talking about on that video on there. So we're not overprint. You shouldn't pay more than, I would say, 50 bucks for a lot of 100 of those is around the right price. All right, we're doing a homeschool hustler store sale a little early today. Normally we do it when y'all get back. What are you doing today? Where are you going? Uh, Pre-team tumbling. Tumbling. Turner's going to tumbling today. Pre-team tumbling. Pre-team tumbling. You got it. All right, so what did you sell today? Chubby puppy, chubby puppy, chubby puppy. <laughs> chubby. I told him to say it three times fast. Can you say it ten times fast? Chubby puppy, chubby puppy, chubby puppy. <laughs> That's puppy, all right, chubby buddy. Chubby puppy, 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 chubby puppy. <laughs> all right. That's over twelve ninety five plus shipping, and I have no idea where they picked it up or if it was Reagan, so I have no idea. I do know that I got that troll right there. Mm -hmm. I should have bought it all sale. I'll put a picture of it right here. And that is, we have very few of those left. We sold a bunch and made pretty good money. I should have bought every single one that they had, though, Turner. And then some unicorn, Thai, be Thai Beanie Baby unicorns, okay? And I, the, Reagan has those, has a few of those. I think a viewer may have given, given her some as well. I think these are doubles, I think. And I think Blue Ridge Mama picked them up for 50 cents a piece, which is pretty darn good deal at the Goodwill. So that's awesome. So Turner, $7.95 for the Troll Doll plus shipping. $12.95 over here. And then these two, what did we say? I think they were $10 maybe plus shipping or $10, I can't remember. But you did pretty good today and you're gonna have to help me package them up, I think, if you have time. And you're gonna make enough money to do what? Save a dollar, spend a dollar, and donate it. You got it, all right, have fun at Tumbling. Bye. Hey, a couple of pinball sales, independent of each other, 688. Free shipping, a little bit of money. Hallmark Coca-Cola Santa. And we've sold, we, I think there's like nine or 10 of these and we sold a bunch, not this last Christmas, but the one before, sold just one this Christmas. And so this one went on clearance, 25% off and it sold $7.06. Free shipping goes in the four by four by four box. So make a little bit of money, but it is out the door. I suppose I could have kept this one. It's so small. I keep my ornaments in that top drawer back there, but whatever. We'll make, it's all pure profit at this point. So Santa... Coca-Cola Santa's out the door. This one, it's a, I took it out so you could see here, the postcard set. I love these old postcard sets here. This one is the 21 Spanish Missions of California. So I gotta test my history here. I got another history item here. This, by the way, is going to Hollywood Reseller, so not so ironically, I suppose, going out to California near its old home. Who knows where it came from exactly or was bought, but this one went for $8.81 free shipping. 
and it is headed back out to the west coast. And I remember I grew up in Southern California. I remember, I think it was uh, Capistrano is the one that I have been to. If I remember, I was a young, young lad there. But I remember having to, build, you know, wherever you're at, it seems like out here, I think the kids in uh, elementary school build like long houses and stuff like that. Well, the uh, Native Americans, the Indians out there in California, this part of their history, of course, is the, the conversions to Catholicism that the Franciscan uh, order of priests would uh, convert and be missions. They would be missions, essentially, to the Indians throughout the ones that survived, of course, the uh, awful smallpox and, and whatnot that occurred all the way up from San Diego, all the way up to uh, past San Francisco to, uh, I think, Sonoma. And that would have started to occur in the mid to late, I guess, probably later into the 18th century. And so those great Spanish missions throughout the West Coast, are, and a lot of them survived. I remember there being one small one out closer to where I lived. Not one of these major ones, of course, but the little place I was from, Yucaipa, actually is a Indian name. So anyway, any rate, some of them are just gorgeous. And those tile roofs uh, just takes me back for sure. So Hollywood Resale, they said it was reseller going in the Hollywood shed. So thank you all so much. It's headed your way. Another historical item here going to William. And boy, you got the deal here. I don't know what happened. I don't know what I did here. But uh, the bidding, you know, we're getting like 30 bucks a piece for a little fundraiser. This one went for maybe five plus shipping. And this one is awesome. I love it. So the uh, Animan Sailor there. <laughs> kissing the nurse and this is of course vj day um the famous vj day picture which let me see if i got my memory right 1945 which you know ve day may how do i not remember ve day may 6th may 8th 45 vj day august 15th 45 victory in japan so happy day in american history look at that and a man in the background you see him back there so this one's headed off to william so thank you very much I don't know if Reagan did this one or not. When I came home, she was finishing up her video in there. Just, I love that little thing. Anyway, so this one is going to Angela. It's going to Angie's Oddities. And thank you for the continued support. She was one of the lucky ones. I've been posting one a day over there. We, we had 50 that I accumulated the other. Of course, we have a few more back here that I've just, I just, I don't probably, I don't know what I'll do with them. This, this crate here, the two in there. But we did get a box of 50 more, and so they're going to go one at a time in there, and uh, hopefully you can get one. So at any rate, this guy is headed your way. Thank you, Angela. And she thanked Reagan in her message, so I'll pass that on to her. Hey, this one is going to Tom. He got an Enamug, and Reagan told me that she only did two things out there, and I'm thinking maybe it was a mug, and I don't know what she did. You'll see it in a minute. Maybe it's one. But this one was not one of them, she said. She didn't know if I wanted to save it for the next video. So I'm going to do this one today because I think there's been a few more sellers. I try to give it, you know, a couple. I don't, you, know, you don't want to hear 16 people buying a mug. So we try to get a couple a day. At any rate, this one's going to Tom Hoosier Resell. Hoosier Resell. And I checked out your videos there, Tom. Just started a YouTube channel. And he was, uh, I think, talking about a Pokemon. I think box, maybe not even the game. At any rate, for a, for a game or a Game Boy, I think that's what it was. So thank you, Tom. And he said we inspired him to start the YouTube channel. So we appreciate it very much. And this Enamug is headed your way. And we hope he gets things moving for you. And uh, hopefully see one in the background of one of your videos. That is Hoosier Resell on eBay as well. So thank y'all so much. As always, one of the things that I like so much, I just I love watching all these YouTube channels, and I'll spot. A, and then a man in the back just i love it it's, i don't know it's it's flattering you know everybody from crazy lamp lady has one to you know one of the very first ones i sent to to lonnie and john and some other folks so at any rate thank you all for joining us and we'll see you next time hey i didn't see a question from hollywood reseller a random question when you ship the items overseas do you use only use global shipping program no so I do use global shipping a lot. If it's an item maybe that I'm not comfortable shipping, making sure it gets there safely, you know, I don't want to take the risk quite as much. So I'm going global shipping. If it's an item that's heavy, over four pounds, I'm definitely going global shipping. Um, I suppose you don't have to because 
the the new systems in eBay allow you to ship heavier items through the eBay system and and you you're protected. I like to go almost everything under two pounds, everything, sometimes three, sometimes four pounds. I will basically ship pirate ship. First class flat rate international is usually what I do for those. So at any rate, hopefully that answers your question. But you know what? If you're just starting off doing overseas stuff, global shipping is a good way to start and you can expand from there. So I'll say it again. Can't wait to see you next time. Hi, my name is Reagan, and today I'm going to be showing you what's sold out of the Commonwealth Picker Store. First, we have Karen. She got an Intermog and a Commonwealth Picker sticker. And remember, the Intermogs, we only have 18 left, I think, and a couple Misfits. And once they're sold out, we're not going to be putting them back out again. She said, Hi, Reagan, you are doing a great job running the merch store. I had to get a mug before they sold out. Thank you. And she said, go Team Boots. She literally broke the butter jar yesterday. She was trying to eat the butter, and it splattered onto the floor. So, thank you, Karen. Bye, and don't forget to get your stickers at CommonwealthPicker.com. Just opened a package, and this is to Turner, but he is already gone, and I just had to read it to y'all. First of all, this has been... A month, about a month in the mail. So my apologies. Well, <laughs> I'll apologize for whatever postal delays here. And if I'm reading this right, I think it says Chris. So Turner and family. Four years ago today, I lost my mom to Alzheimer's. She loved Christmas. Uh, it was her favorite holiday. She loved her butterflies. She loved butterflies and angels. This ornament has been or has her name on it, Jean. And has been in my living room for six years. She never seemed to like it. Probably because it didn't have an angel or a butterfly on it. Her name is Norma Jean, but always went by Jean. Since I am downsizing in preparation for a major move, I thought you'd enjoy this more than she did. So I'm so sorry that this didn't come before Christmas. But it will be on our tree next year. I, I promise you that. And uh, thank you very much. We're sorry for your loss. And I know it's been a while, but uh, of course those memories never go away. So thank you, and we appreciate it. And next year, Christmas, you'll see it on our tree. Thank you so much. We appreciate it.